Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Monday, the 20th of February, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, Green defends stoutly at JSA Sports. And in our feature for this evening, Onaje Bag 6 on Debo. We take this break and I'll be right back. As a responsible taxpayer, you help to finance free health care at all health centers on Nevis. Thank you for putting country above self. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Well, I'm back and we start with cricket. The Ever Walters Primary School held its annual cross-country event on Friday, the 17th February. As has become the norm at all of the schools, the eager and anxious parents and other family members showed up in their numbers, some of them intent on running alongside their children for however long they managed. On show were the students from kindergarten right up to grade 6 running in their respective categories, and there were some truly thrilling races. The top results were as follows. Kindergarten girls, Heavenly James Green. Sivincia Smith, Red. Hermir Thomas, Gold. Kindergarten boys, Demari Amri, Red. Leodre Ordain, Gold. Adondre Osborne, Red. Grade 1 and 2 girls, Sayana Leibert, Gold. Sonia Bartlett, Green. Kimberly Wilkin, Red. Grade 1 and 2 boys, Caden Williams Gold, Caden Archibald Red, Jeshawn Bramble Red. Grade 3 and 4 girls, Levandre Hanley Gold with a new record, Cherise Latouche Gold, Kiana Williams Gold. Grades 3 and 4 boys, Jeremy Leibert Green, new record, Jazian Odain Gold, Dan Carroll Marsham Red. Grade 5 and 6 girls, Jazira George Green, Toshan J. Wilkin Gold, Lemaya Charles Gold. Grade 5 and 6 boys, Zaire Jeffers Green, Kimani Lawrence Red, and Kenai Elliott Gold. The final heats points, Gold Warriors, 680 points, Red Eagles, 652 points, and Green Pythons, 621 points. Well, thanks to Remy Gums and a very nice lady using her phone, we got some clips. Meanwhile, the athletes of defending champions Greenhouse of the Gingerland Secondary School were in celebratory mood on the evening of Sunday, 19 February, after successfully defending the championship that they won last year. The annual sports meet was held at the Nevis Athletic Stadium and was held under the distinguished patronage of former star javelin athlete Adrian Williams. The athletes competed in the 400, 200, 800, 1200, 1500, 100 and 4x400 four four meter races. They certainly thrilled the fierce-sized and energetic crowd. They even added a cheerleading segment to the afternoon's proceedings, which was well received. Final scores, Greenhouse 259 points, Blue House 220 points, Red House 126 points, meaning Greenhouse champions again. Victor Lodorum, Vaden Clark, Neil, and Victor Lodorum, Kiana Mills. Let's take in a bit of the action. So the match pass is on the way. It's the Gingerland Secondary School annual sports meet. And we have 
the sports mistress and uh, deputy headmistress and Adrian Williams, the patron for today and a former student of the Gingerland Secondary School. So here they come. Well, they're getting into what I consider to be the most exciting races. Some people think the relays are, but I think these are the 100 meters events. So, we're going to have the class three girls, I think, for starters. This is going to be a fast paced one. Don't even look away from your television sets, all your computers, all your phones. A little bit of a hush. Clean start. Help. Who is needed? Well, well, here is uh, green and red, green and red, green and red, green and red. Tight race. Tight race. Very, very good finish, that. So the snow has already started to fall here at the Mondo track. I mean, I mean, you could just watch the reaction. It's cold. Fortunately, not rainy, but it's a cold night, and uh, people are hugging themselves, literally. It's going to be the class three boys. And this also is going to be a rapid one. Just waiting for a clean start here. There's a hush at the Mondo. Clean start. Let's see who is going to win this one. We see a little bit of a. Well, here's the race. Here's the race. I think somebody has finally come back. The guy in blue who normally wins had a rush this time around. That one was close. He normally wins. He has won them all afternoon. But this time, the guy in the yellow shoes decided that he was going to burn up the track. And it was a good finish. So 245 Hobson managed to zip this one. Very good race indeed. So it's going to be the class two girls. Again, it's going to be fast paced. We have seen these girls all afternoon and it's keenly contested. I don't think this will be different. It's going to be a fast paced one. Clean start and all. Out of the blocks. Let's see who is pulling away. It looks like Philip. It looks like Philip. It looks like Philip. She's storming away. Philip, lovely strides. Lovely strides. And a close one for second. But there was Philip pulling away. She certainly is still quick. Still has some very lovely strides. And I guess if somebody can just work with her. Double gun. So let's see what happens here now. Who is going to take this one? Now, one has been disqualified, so the others might be a little tense getting out. Clean start this time. Let's see. Who is going to take this one? Well, 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 My goodness. That was a serious run. That was a serious run. One hundred and eighty-five. 
Well, he certainly didn't compete with the others before in terms of the other races and out of the blue, he stunned them. Well, I'm not seeing this. Abdul was in this one, but um, I'm not sure. But Abdul came. Sutton it is, storm the track. Looks as if take one, but second. Now who is third? Allen is third. So that was a very good race. That was a tremendous race by Sutton. Certainly pulled away from the pack. For one moment, the good question would have been, was the record broken? And uh, that was a no. Apparently, the record wasn't broken. But it certainly looked recordish. That was a quick run. So it's going to be the big girls, I think. Class one girls. They too have done pretty well all afternoon. And there's a particular young lady who has won a couple of races. I think she'll be trying to storm this one as well. But the others would have other ideas. To start. Who is coming to? Where is she? There she is. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, there she is. But she has a challenger. Somebody has left her in the dust. Somebody has left her. This time she was beaten. Last time around she was literally waving the smoke off the track. But this time she has been beaten. Congratulates um, the winner. That was a great run. Number 220 it looks like. That was a great run. Well, guess what? Apparently, if anybody falls starts this second time around, they'll be disqualified. First time around, everybody got a warning. This time, once you personally um, fall started, you're disqualified. So I think they'll be a little slow out of the blocks now. They'll wait until that gun goes off and maybe just get a late start. So, on the starters orders once again, tension in the oval. Some people are rooting for Ken Ken, some people are rooting for Pluck. Here's where the big boys play. There might be another surprise though in the mix. We just had one a while ago. <laughs> Clean start this time. The short stop. Yes, in the middle, Ken Ken. Clock is struggling. Ken Ken looks as if he might take it. Ken Ken takes it and pumps the air. And it's all about bragging rights. And Ken Ken has certainly done that superbly. Carlton Pluck, Carlton Pluck looks a little crestfallen, but it was a good race.
We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. Well, I'm back, and tonight cricket is in the spotlight. Bonaje Amri was the ultimate star on debut for the Nevis senior team as he bagged six wickets for 72 runs on his first outing. He, along with three other recent Westerners on the 19 stars, Justin Armadon, Carlin Bowen Tuckett, and Jaden Carmichael, were all handed their caps in the symbolic gesture by more senior players to welcome them into the higher level of cricket. Manstrat won the toss and generally batted solidly with two of their top order batsmen getting past 50 and another getting 45 not out. Amri got his first wicket from a rank short ball but the batsman missed out on his attempted pull shot and gloved it down the leg side for Carl and Bowen Stockett to take a spectacular catch. There were times when he was a bit roughed up by the Monstrat batsmen who generally showed aggressive intent but all in all he bowled superbly. Monstrat got to 243 all out in their first innings, and even at the end of day one, they were on 72 for two. Summarized scores, Monstrat 243 all out, Burns 82, Sullivan 63, Williams 45 not out. Onaje Amri, 6 for 72. Kian Pemberton, 3 for 37. Adelvin Phillip, 1 for 19. Nevis, 72 for 2. Ross Powell, 21. Duane Webb, 17. Andrew Brown was 10 not out. And Justin Armadon, 4 not out. Nevis was trailing at that time at the end of day one by 171 runs. The match should have continued today at 10 a.m. We have some brief clips from the first session of day one. Well, today is the 19th of February, and we're here at the E.T. Willett Park, and we're going to have, after a 10-year hiatus, the resumption of the Leeward Islands Cricket Tournament. We have the two captains out there. Surprisingly, Kyron Powell is not out there, so we'll get an explanation. Kezron Archibald was announced as the vice captain. I'm not sure if he's captain in the team today or he's just representing Kyron with the toss. But um, let's see if we could read from this distance who would have won the toss. Luther Kelly would indicate 
and uh, they would exchange teams and all. I'm not sure what the signal would be. Let's see if we get a signal from Kezran Archibald as if he'll be telling these guys to pad up. The Monstra team, they were just warming up. We understand that the match is starting late because they came in late. And so we'll have to wait and see um, what the indication is. Javier Leibert, of course, is the coach and he'll be awaiting a word from Kezron Archibald as to what transpired out there a while ago. So Javier is going out to meet Kezron Archibald. Looks as if they're looking at balls. So it looks as if Nevis will be bowling first. Looks as if Nevis will be bowling first. The way things are looking right now. And so we'll have to wait and see. Find out what exactly happened. Well, we're just about to have the start of the first game of the Leeward Islands tournament. Resuming after a 10-year hiatus, Nevis coming up against Monstrat. Javier Leibert is the coach for the Nevis team. Actually, I thought he would have been playing the way he was batting in the local tournament. Javier, what's the situation on the ground right now? Um, we having a late start, a 10.30 start. Um, Monstrat won the toss and they chose to, they chose to bat. We have 100 overs. We're still going to try to play 100 overs today. We're just going to reduce the, um, the breaks. Um, we're looking to have a good start with the bowling. Um, you have Kian Pemberton and Kezon Archibald, uh, Colin Archibald opening the ball for Nevis. So we, and uh, Colin Archibald is the captain. Um, Carl Tuckett, Carl Tuckett's son, is the vice captain. And he's making his debut for Nevis as well. His debut. We have a couple of fellas making, it, making their debut. Uh, Carl Tuckett, um, Anaje Amri, uh, Justin Amadan, and um, should be one other guy coming in right now, yes. So a lot of the youth players are playing. And um, Kyron Paul missing though. What's the word on Kyron? I have no information on, 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 on oh, He's just not here today. He's just not here today, yes. All right. yes. Okay, well, all the best. Looking forward to a good game. All right, yes. Thanks. So, Kyron Powell absent today, but the Nevis team is here with a couple of debutants. Side Williams, of course, would have played for Nevis before. Um, so, the debutants would be the tall man here, Unaje Amri. And we also have Justin Amadan is in. And we also have Carlon Bowen Tuckett as the vice captain making his debut as well. And maybe Jaden Carmichael, I think, might be making his debut as well for Nevis senior team. So a lot of the youth players from the under-19, they are here to represent Nevis. And certainly that's great news. Great news for Nevis. And uh, new ball bowlers would be Kyron, Kezron Archibald and... Uh, Kezron Archibald and uh, Kian Pemberton. Presented his cap by Adelvin Phillip. Hey guys! Hometown in Nevis. Uh, Justin, I've seen you come to the ranks as a youth and reaching to a certain level. Now you reach to the senior level with the Nevis team. I want to wish you congrats. Well, Mr. Shakes, welcome to Navy Steam. Wish you a long future and all the best. Make us proud, man. No, no, no. Somebody got to hold him, mic, So we have to hold him, mic. Let's go. No, so, okay, so if I tell you, him, right? Yeah. Um, I would like to congratulate Carl on being a part of the Navy Steam. Wish you many more. I will see you on the other side of the Leeward Islands every day. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Yeah, man.
Wow. Yeah, well, Najee, and <coughs> congratulations on making the senior team and I wish you all the best throughout the tournament and day. Yeah. Not sure who the umpires are. One of them is called Tucket, but I'm not sure who the other umpire is. So, a youthful umpire going out. Good to see youngsters. Huh? Actually, we are down to three slips now. And uh, the man at back with a point. Extra cover. Short mid off. Or even more of a cover position than the mid off, really. And then we have mid on and long leg. Here is Kedron Archibald. Steams in now to bowl. He's driving. Dropped. It was really coming hard, but I think he grabbed at it. Jaden Carmichael and may have damaged a finger in the process. Let's hope it's not his spinning finger. Is that Jaden Carmichael? We'll have to ascertain if it's Jaden Carmichael. Seems as if he got a little damage in the process. But these guys are tough. I think it's Jaden Carmichael from this distance. But he grabbed at it. Would have been a fantastic catch, I must tell you. The ball was traveling. He just couldn't hold on. Here he goes once more. Adelvin Phillip races in now to bowl off target. Well stopped by Carl and took it. He came off the bat and he was throwing himself to his left and pulling it in. Stopping what would have been a certain four. Once more, advice a plenty from the spectators. Here goes, Bo goes. Well, that's close, gone. Finally, Grant gets another Yorker there by Kian Pemberton. Hit him on the back leg, and the umpire hesitated just momentarily, and he's gone. Water card goes onto the field. <laughs> so here goes now. Good delivery. Plays it on the outside. Tweet is running. Tweet is running, Mr. Stumps. My goodness. I thought that was a pretty easy run out. Holds his head. I can't believe it, Mr. Stump. Who is that? Um, let's see who Mr. Stump look like sense. Is that sensey? No. That's Kel Keswan Archibald, the captain. Keswan, Mr. Stumps. It so actually, it's Zawandi White, the former under 19 cricketer for the Leewards. Taking strike now from a Delvin Phillip and gets one that comes off the bat into his pad. A little bit of a buzz there. So what we missed as we changed batteries there was that um, White hit that one very powerfully back at um, Adelvin Phillip. And he tried to make a catch of it. And I think he has damaged his finger in the process. And dropping the catch as well. It was a tough one, tough call. So he has to come off. So that's the second man we have seen get a damaged finger. Earlier it was Jaden Carmichael. And now it's um, the experienced Adelvin Phillip. So... Uh, Delvin Phillip has come off, and it's the debutant, Unaja Amri, who will finish the over and actually bowl his first delivery at this level for Nevis. The tall, lanky off spinner. Four balls remaining, says umpire Carl Tuckett. And already we see uh, Silimidon in place. In the po Normally they put a debutant at Silimidon. I always wonder about that. So there's Justin Amberdon under the gun. Here's Onaje Amri. Oh, that's a poor delivery. Shouting his appeal, he came off something. Carl Tuckett was racing down the leg side to pull it in. And uh, 
Carl, Carl, that was Carl and Burns Tuckett going down the leg sides. I wonder why it looks a little confused as he comes back. I'll have to ask an opinion on that one. What do you think? Well, that's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.